Well, let's return now to the coronavirus outbreak and how it's affecting Iran. The latest death toll there is 66. Let's try and clear up what exactly is happening with the virus in Iran. The number of cases has doubled to over 1,500. Here's the Tehran Times, which is uh, connected to the state, saying one of those to die is an advisor to Iran's supreme leader, Ayatollah Ali Khamenei. Now, despite the sharp increase in the statistics, there's evidence to suggest the number of cases and the number of deaths is higher still. Here's the head of the WHO saying a chartered flight has gone from Dubai into Tehran carrying staff and medical supplies. And we know that Iran's government is doing its best to shift through the gears on this story. This is the health minister. He's announced that 300,000 health workers will go door to door testing people. But there are doubts about this tactic. Here's Tarana Stone from BBC Monitoring. So people are very skeptical about the plan, uh, mainly because of the scale of the project. There are 80 million people in that country, 31 provinces, 27 of which are gripped by the virus. So people are asking, how are they going to knock on every single door, uh, even in the areas that are hard to reach? And do they have enough equipment? And another thing that they're worried about is that the plan could actually help spread the virus. So on social media, they're asking each other, not to uh, open the door for these uh, teams. Uh, they're saying that this is a populist plan and it's not going to work. Now, the initial centre of the outbreak in Iran was the holy city of Qom, just south of Tehran. Today, BBC Persian published this video. It's a man filming burials at a cemetery in Qom. And he says he's already been involved in the burial of 80 people, all connected to the coronavirus. And if that's true, that would be far in excess of official figures. We have another video, this time from the capital, Tehran, again highlighted by BBC Persian. This man, you can see here, is warning passers-by not to come near him. He says he's infected, and we can see him coughing severely. He's then picked up, as you can see, by people wearing full protective suits, and he's placed into an ambulance. Well, here's BBC Persian's Rana Ryanpour on how we assess the statistics in Iran. We're not convinced. We think that this is an underestimation of what's going on, and it's not just us. There are so many people inside the country, including politicians. So uh, an MP from the city of Rash, which is in the in north of Iran, today said that these numbers sound more like a joke. He said that in his city, which is one of the, one of the uh, critical cities at the moment, all the hospitals are full, they can no longer cope, and he blamed the authorities for sending help 10 days after it was announced, the outbreak was announced. So they said they were too slow to react, and by now the, the, the entire city is in trouble. So it, so many people believe that it's either downplayed or uh, the, the, the authorities don't have the capacity to test all those people who are affected mm -hmm. and who are possibly dead. And they have been buried, and the cause of death has been announced as chest infection or flu uh, without being tested to know whether they, were, they died because of the coronavirus. Well, tell me more about these cities, because often when we talk, we've been focused mm -hmm. on calm, understandably, mm -hmm. because that's where the outbreak started. But where else should we be looking? So at the moment, the worst uh, hit city in terms of number of cases is Tehran, the capital. But also we have uh, now the city of Rash, which is, uh, I just mentioned, and the city of Kaushan are on red alert. And it means that the numbers mm -hmm. are quite serious. But it's not just that. Out of 31 provinces in Iran, 27 provinces have, ca have reported cases of of, um, coronavirus. So we're only talking about four more provinces and many believe that they probably have it and they haven't been tested yet.